this is a penny and I'm gonna turn it into a thousand pounds with woodworking alone. Problem is I've got barely any tools and no wood. Previously on the challenge, I found this oak table and chairs on Facebook, sold them for 15 pounds. I have 15 pounds. Went to a car boot, bought a load of tools and now I'm ready to build. The game just changed. Okay, it's been a month since I made episode two, and to be honest with you, I've been dreading this. As I set out in the rules, I'm not allowed to borrow or use any tools that I didn't purchase from the original penny, and I do, before I can build anything, obviously need to get some wood. Now, what I'm thinking is free wood is hard to come by, but what's not hard to come by is pallets. There's loads of them all over Facebook, and luckily for me, there's somewhere that is not too far that I can get hundreds of pallets at any given moment. The reason I'm putting it off is I'm a pretty impatient person, and I know that taking pallets it's apart with nothing but a rusty saw and a hammer is not going to be the most fun thing to do. But it's my only option, so I'm going to go find some pallets. Do it! Just do it! Okay, so the good news is I found a load of pallets. The bad news is they do not fit in my car. So unfortunately I'm gonna to have to get the saw out, saw each one of these down so they can fit in my car and then actually break them apart at home because it's about 100 degrees right now and I am sweating my balls off. Nice. Okay. You can see this, I'm literally dripping with sweat. It's so hard and this is hard work. Now for those of you wondering why am I doing this on what feels like the hottest day of the year, I've got two kids so childcare is something I'm always working around. This just happens to be my day this week to do YouTube stuff so it's either do it in the heat or don't do it at all. I've got a fair bit of wood. This is two pallets in total. I've still got to denail it. Yeah, I'm hoping this is going to be enough for now. And if not, I have access to a lot more, so I'm not too worried. So I was just driving home and in this same industrial estate, I've just driven past a skip full of wood and it's not just pallet. I don't want to film unless I've got permission. So I'm going to go just speak to the guys working there, see if they're all right, be setting up my camera and actually taking some stuff out of their skip. Uh, and honestly, I'm pretty nervous walking in and asking permission. I mean, how is this conversation going to go? Like, oh, hey, can I look through your skip and get some wood out? How am I going to say that and not sound like a complete madman? I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to do it. We'll see. Luckily, the guys working there were super sound and had no issues with me taking wood from their skip. And what a find this turned out to be. I'll definitely be coming back here. I filled the car up. I don't know what this is. It's nice though. And it's gonna make a nice contrast to the pallets that I've got. Let's get this home and see what we can do. So this is all the wood I got. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. So my plan is to actually stare at it until I've had an epiphany. As I sat there in that chair, a few thoughts come to me. Bird bar, bird, 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 bird house, bird, bird, planters, house, planters, planters chairs, table. table. Why am I doing this? What's, What's the point? I should have been a doctor. Been a doctor. Like, and subscribe. Like, and subscribe. like and subscribe. And then it hit me. I needed it again to channel my inner Shia LaBeouf and... Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. That's not good, my drill's out of charge. I've not used it. <sighs> okay. Shit. So I've given this a lot of thought and with the tools that I've got, I think it's pretty clear that I'm not gonna be making any 500 pound coffee tables. So I'm gonna have to go with quantity over quality. There's a few things in my mind that I'm thinking I'm gonna start off with making. A bird box and some planters. I'm probably gonna make one of each put them on Facebook, see if any of them sell. And then if any of them do sell, I will just target those and make a lot more of them. I want to get enough money to buy myself something like a circular saw or a mitre saw, something that will allow me to never use a handsaw again. So let's get started. Now 
Now a lot of people don't know this, but this bit of a saw, you can actually use that as a set square. This is 90 degrees. So if you put this on the wood and draw a line, you know you're gonna make an exact 90 degree curve. So as you can see, the first item is nearly done. This is gonna be a crate. I've just gotta put the bottom on it and then it is ready to go. Here we are a few days later and I've decided before I build anything else, I am actually gonna denail all of this wood the nails sticking out are making it really hard to stack up and store. So I'm just gonna grind it out and go through everything. I'm finding it's a lot easier to get the nails out of the pallet wood because it's thinner. Whereas this thicker stuff that I've got is taking a long time. I'm still gonna have to do it, but I've got quite a lot of this and less pallet wood. Just in the garden, breaking down pallets and I've got my first visitor. This is Fat Gus. He comes and visits sometimes, hey Fat Gus. Yeah. Fat girth. Okay, this is all the wood that I've denailed. It looks a lot less now I've denailed it and I've put it in a pile. I do think I'm gonna to have to go get more pallets. So now I've got all that wood denailed, I'm gonna try and make a bird box. This should be a little bit quicker to make and if they sell well, that'd be good. Okay, and I'm gonna make this entirely out of pallet wood. Now the sides of these are gonna to have to have a bit of an angle on them. I'm gonna use this first one as a guide. Hopefully that makes it a bit easier. I think this saw's blunt. Come on! Now one of the hardest things to do with this handsaw is to get like a really neat edge. Obviously with a machine cut, this, this would be really neat, but it is all just sawdusty at the edges. I think there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, if you know any tricks to get a neater edge with a handsaw, let me know in the comments, but I'm just gonna have to crack up. That's why I wanna do things like bird boxes where I feel like the finish is less important. I'm so bad with nails. I hate nails. It sort of looks like a birdhouse. So I was planning on stopping the video here and say I'm gonna put them on Facebook and see if either of them sell. However, if I'm honest, I feel like I've made one thing that's acceptable and one thing that's terrible. This crate, I actually think this is quite good. This is something I could see being used at like a wedding for that sort of vintage look. You know, people buy this sort of thing and it's solid. Although it's been made with a handsaw, I feel like because of the design of it, it gets away with the slightly rough edges and that non-sanded look. I think I could probably, at the, at the maximum, get about 10 pounds for this. Lowest, I think it's worth five all day long. This, however, it just doesn't look very good. I'm still gonna put it on Facebook, but I'm not expecting it to go anywhere. But let me know if you wanna buy it, send me a message. But before I go and make a load more crates, I really am keen to see if this one actually does end up selling. So I'm gonna have a look at the wood that I've got left and see if I can put something together that's a little bit different to these two. I've got an idea and it's gonna be difficult to do with the tools that I've got, so I'm gonna give that a go. Okay, so this bit of plywood that I got should be good for like the base and the longest piece of two by two I have is this. So I'm thinking this on here, I think this can work. I think I can do this. So the first thing I've done is cut down this piece of plywood and then I've cut down these, these smaller pieces to just give it some strength. Base. The thing I was dreading most about all these builds was using a handsaw. And don't get me wrong, it's hard work. But what I'm learning about myself most is that nails are awful to work with. I'm used to using screws which pull wood together as you drive them in. Nails unfortunately don't do that. It's amazing what you end up learning doing stuff like this. So I've cut these out and these are gonna go along the top to brace it. Okay, so this is now nailed together. To be honest, I'd much rather use screws, but I don't have many long screws. 
So I'm going around the top and just giving this a nice trim with this pallet wood. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is put a roof on this. So I'm gonna to have to cut four pieces with a 45 degree angle on them with a handsaw. So let's see how that goes. So there's my cut all marked up. And I am very happy with that. I just realized if I cut one of these shorter than the other, I'll be able to actually butt them into each other like this instead of doing another 45 degrees. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I've cut out everything I need for the roof. I think I need more space. How the hell have I done that? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna use the remainder of the pallet wood to put a roof on this, and then I just need to make a stand. One eternity later. Okay, this is now all done. That took a very long time, but I think it's looking, it's looking all right. Just need to do a quick stand and then this is done. So I'm thinking this on here. Yeah, let's make that happen. Stand. So now I just need to put the top on it, which I'm gonna do now. Done. And that's it, that's everything I've built out of all the wood that I had and the tools that I had available. If you enjoyed this episode, then please smash the like button. Consider subscribing because this one really did take a long time and I will see you in the next episode.